Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question is which bond is more polar in the following pairs? The first is CS3H and CS3Br. So let's see this. So I have CS3H and CS3Br. So here the difference in electronegativity between carbon and hydrogen is not that much, but the carbon bromine you have, I mean the Bromine is more electronegative and the difference is more. So you will see an inductive effect here and bromine will get a slightly negative charge and carbon will get a slightly positive charge. So in this case, this bond is more polar. Correct. Let's take this guy. CH3, NH2 and CH3. Here also OH, you see, oxygen has uh, is more electronegative then carbon, right? So if you see nitrogen, the electronegativity is 3.04. Oxygen, like right here, it is 3.44, right? Carbon we know is almost 2.55. So in this case, if you see, the difference is more, right? So this will have more negative charge, this will have more positive charge. So this will be more polar. Right. Similarly, here also if you see, carbon is what? 2.55, hydrogen was 2.20, here carbon is 2.55 here and bromine here is what? Bromine is 2.96. So you see the difference is more, right? 2.55 and 2.96, so it is more polar. Here also, carbon oxygen, the difference is more, so it is more polar as you compare to carbon nitrogen bond. Correct. Same thing with this guy. CH3OH and CH3SH. So here if you see for sulfur the electronegativity is 2.58. Carbon is what? 2.55. Here also it is 2.55 carbon and oxygen is 3.44. These values we got from the electronegativity chart. So if you see the difference is more here, right? So this is more polar. Correct? This is 2.55, 3.44, the difference is almost 0.9 and here the difference is 0 0.03, very very less. So this guy is less polar, this guy is more polar. Hope you understand. So the only thing you have to do is with carbon, you define the other atom, you find you define a difference in the electronegativity. The one which has maximum difference in electronegativity is the one which is more polar. Correct. Let's take another example. So in which of uh, this CC bond, the inductive effect is expected to be least. So I have this kind of structure CH3, CH2, CH2, and Br. As I told, Br is more electronegative than carbon. Bromine has the electronegativity of 2.96, and this carbon has electronegativity of 2.55, so bromine will attract electron towards itself, develops slightly negative charge, slightly positive charge, this will get all the more less positive charge, this will get all the more less positive charge, right? That's what we have seen in inductive effect, the effect decreases as we go in this direction away from this electronegative element. So this carbon is expected to have the least electronegative effect, correct? This carbon least inductive effect sorry inductive effect let's take one more example which of the two is expected to be more stable so let's draw this this guy is my N2 and I have CH2 and CH2O Minus. And this guy is CH3, CH2, O minus. Correct. So now let's let's find the elect uh, electronegativity of nitrogen is what? 3.04. Carbon I know it is 2.55. Here both are same, both carbon, so we don't need to find electronegativity here. And here in this case, carbon oxygen, this carbon is what? 
2.55 and here it is 3.05 right so if you see as i told this carbon this nitrogen is more electronegative than this carbon so it will try to pull electron towards itself right so we will see inductive effect in this direction correct in this case i have a methyl group and i have also told methyl group has plus i effect right it will try to add electrons so it will have inductive effect in this direction also if you see the carbon oxygen here it will have inductive effect in this direction correct so in this case this no2 group is taking electron from this o minus right so it was negative so no2 group is making it less negative correct so it's trying to localize the electron and this guy here my c2h5 group is making it this o minus more negative right because this guy methyl group now has the tendency to give electron plus i effect this is minus i effect this is plus i effect well, if you assume this guy is a system correct so since in this case my this no2 group is making this less negative it is trying to stabilize the charge so since the charge is stabilized this is more stable more stable so in this case all the charge is here it was negative plus this methyl group or ethyl group is making it all the more negative so the charge is more concentrated in this oxygen so it becomes unstable or less stable do we understand so in this case the negative charge whatever oxygen was this was taken away by this no2 so this becomes less negative so it is okay in this case it was negative o minus plus methyl group or the ethyl group here added more negative charge here so it becomes all the more negative it's very very negative this is very very negative this is okay types negative this is very very negative so it is less stable correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again